Hello everyone. Um, in this uh, lecture, I am going to uh, discuss particle in three dimensional box. Uh, so, in particle in three dimensional box, I am going to uh, show you how to uh, derive the wave function and uh, uh, energy eigenvalue for the particle of quantum mechanical system present in the three dimensional box. Okay, let us consider uh, a particle of mass m. Consider a particle of mass m confined to move confined to move in a in a cubical box now see here i will assume the three dimensional box as a cubical box okay so what i like to say here is so we have uh, a cubical box yeah new cubical box uh, let us take this corner as origin and this as x axis x axis this is y and this is z small x x small x small y and small z okay and uh, uh, we have a, pa a quantum mechanical system particle which is present inside the box and this is a very very small particle and uh, uh, the mass of the particle is m the particle is restricted to move only inside the box it cannot jump out why because the potential energy outside the box okay i'm going to assume the potential energy outside the box is infinite so since the potential energy outside the box is infinite the particle cannot jump out okay so the particle is restricted to move only within the box right then the length or the intercept along x axis let it be l and the intercept along y axis okay also l and the intercept along z axis also l because it's a perfect cubical box right now we need to find out the wave function and the energy eigenvalue for the particle uh, in the box so what we have to do you know very well to find the wave function we need to solve the schrodinger equation okay and i am also going to assume that the potential energy of the particle inside the box okay inside the box potential energy is a constant i am going to assume like this if i assume uh, potential energy is constant then we can say that the particle is a free particle if potential energy is constant it means the particle is a free particle what does it mean it means there is no external force electrical force or magnetic force okay there is no external force acting on the particle the particle is absolutely free so potential energy of the particle is constant inside the box and since it is a constant since it is a constant you can also assume that as zero potential energy is zero. since it's a constant you can assume it as zero if you assume it as zero then uh, it makes some uh, yeah the the derivation may be little convenient right or uh, uh, is easier okay when you keep potential is zero right yeah so just for our convenience we are making potential energy as zero here right then so now how to solve the schrodinger equation since potential energy is constant it is independent of time it is a constant it is independent of time independent of time okay we can uh, to find the wave function we can just solve the time independent schrodinger equation right so the time the time independent the time independent schrodinger schrodinger equation is yeah 
what's the equation h psi psi now this psi uh, depends on the variables x y as well as z okay h psi is equal to e into psi the wave function depends on uh, three variables x y as well as z okay so this is the schrodinger equation if 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 you so if we solve the schrodinger equation okay if you solve the schrodinger equation you will get the solution as the wave function right so um, how to solve the schrodinger equation right yeah so to solve this schrodinger equation what i will do is that see this is the schrodinger equation we need to solve h psi psi is a function of three variable x y z equal to e into psi so this is the equation we need to solve listen uh, this equation is is it is not possible to solve as such because a function okay a psi is a function of three variables so uh, what we can do is we can use uh, uh, the method of separation of variables so applying applying method of separation separation of variables i'm using this technique so what does this technique says is that if you have a function depends on many variables then it is possible to separate okay you, you, you can separate this uh, uh, this function into three functions x y and z i am i am separating the single function into three function such that the function x depends only on x variable the function y depends only on y variable and the function z depends only on z variable okay so this is what we call as method of separation of variable using the method of separation of variables if we can solve uh, the schrodinger equation okay now uh, what is the hamiltonian operator what is the expression for hamiltonian operator let me take this as equation number 1 right hamiltonian operator consists of kinetic energy plus potential energy so the kinetic energy expression is minus um, h cross square by minus h cross square by 2m into uh, del square this is the kinetic energy operator plus since potential energy we have assumed the potential is zero so i'll place zero here into psi equal to e into psi right or we can also write this as minus h square by 8 pi square m into uh, dou square by dou x square plus dou square by dou y square plus dou square by dou z square and psi is there so if you multiply with psi you'll get dou square psi by dou x square dou square psi by dou y square plus dou square psi by dou z square okay here in the right hand side you'll get e into psi or we can also separate this as um, dou square psi by dou x square plus dou square psi by dou y square plus dou square psi by dou z square equal to um, minus 8 pi square m e over h square into psi okay then uh, if i bring this term to the right hand side sorry if i bring this term to the left hand side you will get an expression like this i'll write the expression here that is mm, dou square psi by dou x square plus dou square psi by dou y square plus dou square psi by dou z square plus 8 pi square m e by h square into psi equal to 0 so this is the uh, time independent uh, schrodinger equation we need to solve to get the wave function and the energy for the particle in a cubical box okay yeah so now uh, how to solve this uh, schrodinger equation right and uh, i have already told you that uh, the wave function psi is separated into three functions so if i substitute uh, 
psi is equal to x into y into z where x is a function of x uh, variable x alone y is a function of variable y alone and z is a function of variable z alone if i substitute this here what will i get uh, I'll, so in the place of psi i'll substitute this okay so y and z become constant in the first term dou square x by dou x square because this operator that is dou square by dou x square operator operates only on x right because only x uh, uh, depends on the variable small x okay what i'm saying see dou square by dou x square this operator operates only on the function okay which varies with the x so the only function which varies with x is small uh, capital x okay therefore the remaining functions y and z become constant in this case so you can keep keep them out so y into z into dou squares x by dou x square plus similarly if i substitute uh, x y z in the place of psi here we will get capital x capital z into dou square y by dou y square similarly here x into y to dou square z by dou z square plus 8 pi square m e by h square so in the place of psi i will put x y and z equal to 0 okay, this is multiplication right now uh, what i will do uh, we will uh, divide throughout the equation will divide throughout the equation by x y z okay or i'll multiply throughout the equation by 1 by x y z so what will what we'll get here is y z y z get cancelled you'll get 1 by x into dou square x by dou x square here you'll get 1 by y to dou square y by dou y square here you'll get 1 by z to dou square z by dou z square and here you'll we'll get 8 pi square m e by h square equal to 0 ok now uh, I'll make uh, some more uh, uh, change here dou square x by dou x square I'll keep this term as such 1 by y into dou square y capital Y by dou y square plus 1 by z into dou square z by dou z square and I'll bring this term to the right hand side so I will get minus 8 pi square m uh, by h square into e okay now uh, if you observe this carefully listen uh, this is a function of x alone this term is a function of y alone and this term is a function of z alone okay so these terms depends on different uh, uh, variables right but if you add them together okay that should be equal to uh, the term which is having which is present in the right hand side what is uh, here see here 8 is a constant pi square is a constant m is a constant h square is a constant definitely the e should also be constant okay for a given state as long as the particle present in a particular state okay the wave function and the energy does not change say energy is also a constant but we can split this constant into three okay how to do that yeah we can split this constant into three so we have one by x into dou square x by dou x square term plus one by y into dou square y by dou y square term plus 1 by z into dou square z by dou z square term then in the right hand side minus 8 pi square m by h square and I'll split this e into three part ex plus ey plus ez okay yeah so this is a component of uh, x component of the energy of the particle y component and z component right all are constants right if you add them together you'll get the total energy if you add all these things you'll get the total energy right now see in the in left hand side we have three terms 
in right hand side also we have three terms okay since they are equal okay we can compare that the term uh, which depends only on x with the term uh, having x component in the right hand side so if we equate this what we'll get listen i'm going to equate because left hand side and right hand side are equal so i'm going to equate in this manner that is the first term 1 by x dou square x by dou x square okay which is a function of the variable x i'm equating this to minus 8 pi square m by h square into e x okay the energy component or x component of energy okay yeah because uh, this is the only term which depends okay which uh, uh, depends on x variable right now uh, so i have uh, i have equated these two term so if i rearrange this in a proper manner okay i can write this as d square x by dx square plus 8 pi square m e x by h square into capital x equal to 0 right yeah this is a simple rearrangement we can uh, easily do that see bring this x to the right hand side and bring it to the left hand side you will get this equation see this equation is a familiar equation for us we have already seen this equation yeah this is nothing but particle in 1d box this equation is similar to the equation of particle in 1d box so for particle in 1d box we know the solution okay by applying boundary condition we got the final solution so now i am going to write the solution directly so the function x uh, which depends on the variables x can be given as square root of 2 by l into sine um, some quantum number we should introduce now i am representing that quantum number as n x okay nx pi by l into x this is the wave function sorry this is the uh, uh, formula for the function x capital x in a similar manner similarly in a similar manner okay by taking the second term and equating to that to to the ey term present in the right hand side we can get one more solution Similarly, by equating the by taking the third term and equating it to uh, the z component of energy, you will get another solution. So we'll get three solutions, right? So I have given the solution x already. Now I'll write the solution y S square root of two by l into sine. I'll introduce the quantum number as n y pi by l into x. Similarly, z equal to square root of 2 by l into sin n z pi by l into I'm sorry this is y y and here this is z so we will get three solutions x y and z okay so once you know these solutions we can find the wave function okay by multiplying these three solutions okay yeah how to do that see so uh, what is wave function wave function psi which is a function of all the variables x y z is given as the product of these three functions that is x y and z functions okay and now if you multiply these three you will get the answer as square root of uh, so here you will get square root of 2 by l here also you will get square root of 2 by l and here also you will get square root of 2 by l if you multiply you will get square root of 8 by l cube into sin nx pi by l into x into sin ny pi by l into y into sin nz pi by l into z ok yeah so this is the wave function time independent wave function for a particle uh, present in a cubical box right yeah now now what is the energy what is the energy see you know your total energy is nothing but x component 
plus y component plus z component the sum of these three will give you the total energy and uh, we all know that while solving one dimensional box problem okay uh, we usually keep this term that is 8 pi square m e okay by um, uh, yeah we'll keep this term as equal to k square then we'll find uh, the possible values of k there then we'll substitute that answer here okay and what is the energy expression for particle 1d box e is equal to n square h square by 8 ml square this we know already so here this energy corresponds to a one dimensional box this energy also corresponds to a one dimensional box this energy also corresponds to a one dimensional box so we can write the total energy as total energy equal to n x square h square by 8 ml square plus n y square h square by 8 ml square plus n z square h square by 8 ml square okay so this total energy depends on three quantum numbers nx ny and nz right by taking h square by 8 ml square as constant okay we can write this expression as nx square plus ny square plus n z square into h square by 8 ml square we can write like this right and this is the expression for energy of a particle in a cubical box okay and this is the wave function so in this way we can derive the wave function and the energy of a particle uh, present in a cubical box with the infinite uh, potential barrier outside particle cannot go out so we can say that the, there is an infinite potential barrier outside right so the particle is confined to move only within the box right if it is so then this is the wave function for the particle and this is the energy of the particle right now now I'll show you some interesting features of uh, uh, these expressions that is uh, energy and wave function expression let me take energy first remember we were taken we, yeah, we have taken only the cubical box right we have taken only the cubical box right so in cubical box the x intercept y intercept z intercept all the lengths are same okay so we got this expression for energy right what is the energy expression energy uh, depends on three quantum numbers n x n y and n z okay into h square by 8 m l square this is the expression for energy for particle in a cubical box okay now listen here what are the possible values of these quantum numbers you know very well boundary condition decides these values right so the possible values are 1 2 3 4 etc so nx ny and nz okay they take only integer values 1 2 3 4 etc they never take um, fractions or zero or negative numbers the quantum numbers are always positive in this case right and the quantum numbers starts from 1 1 2 3 4 right these are the possible values of the quantum numbers right if you take the least quant values of the quantum number you will get the ground state energy right so what is the ground state energy for the particle yes right so if I take nx as 1 ny as 1 and nz as 1 right we will get the ground state energy right so nx is 1 ny is 1 and n is at 1 and we will get uh, an energy level for this energy level the energy I will call this energy as ground state energy ok mm, yeah I will put eg ground state energy so what is the ground state energy ground state energy is 3 times h square by 8 ml square 3 times h square by because nx is 1 ny is 1 n z is 1 so if you place 1 uh, here 1 1 1 so you'll get 3 times h square by 8 ml square this is the ground state energy and in ground state see in the ground le energy level we have only one state right we have only one state so this is actually ground state yeah now let me go to the next level in the next level uh, you can keep uh, uh, 
two quantum numbers as one. See n x, n y, n z. You can keep two quantum numbers as one, and you can increase uh, uh, any one of the quantum numbers two. Right? But here, uh, if I place n x as one, n y as one, n z as one, n z as two, we'll get the energy as six h square by eight m square. Correct? See, you place one here, one here, and two here. One square is one. One square is one. <laughs> 2 square is 4 so if you add them together you'll get 6h square by 8m square okay listen 6h square by you'll get the energy as 6h square by 8ml square right this energy is possible with this uh, possible quantum numbers 1 to 1 or 2 1 1 1 okay so all these combinations 1 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 1 1 will give you the same energy So what does it indicate? The second energy level, the, that is the first excited state le energy level, has three states, three possible states. What are the three possible states? One, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, one. Okay, all these three states they have different wave functions. They have different wave functions, but having same energy. So what is the energy? The energy of this state, the first excited state, is um, six times h square by 8 ml square okay so what is the degeneracy of the ground level in ground level we have only one state so degeneracy of the ground state is 1 okay what is the degeneracy of the first excited state degeneracy of the first excited state is 3 right because three combinations are possible right so we have three states so g is equal to 3 for the first excited state right like this if you go to the higher level uh, you will get uh, Uh, many 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 states okay say uh, now uh, uh, let me go to the next level see i'll increase uh, uh, the quant number ny also as 2 right so 1 2 2 is another possibility if i place 1 2 2 what's the energy i'll get i'll get 1 uh, square is 1 2 square as 4 and 2 square 4 so total value is 9 uh, so the next energy level uh, is Eight, uh, sorry, nine. Next energy level is nine times h square by eight ml square. Nine times. Okay. So one, two, two. What are the possible combinations? Yes, we have three combinations here. What are they? One, two, two. One, two, one, two. Two, two, one. We have three possible combination. All these three combination will give you the same energy. Nine h square by eight ml square. Correct. But the wave functions are different okay keep this in mind the energies of these three states are same but the wave functions are not same wave functions are different right okay so uh, we call them as degenerate state right whenever the different states have same energy we call them as degenerate state degenerate states have same energy but they do not have same wave function the wave functions are different okay yeah so Uh, whereas in particle in 1d box right we have only one quantum number nx so there is no uh, possibility of degeneracy all states all the energy levels are singly degenerate in the case of particle in 1d box whereas in particle in 3d box we have three possible quantum numbers nx ny and nz right so uh, uh, whenever uh, more than one quantum number is present okay then automatically the degeneracy will arise right yeah so here uh, degeneracy listen uh, degeneracy never uh, increases as you go above and above and above we, uh, I, I, we can't say like that right yeah uh, sometime if you go to higher level you may have single degeneracy right so different possibilities are there so uh, so keep this in mind okay uh, this is the energy eigen value information about cubical cubical box particle in a cubical box right then okay uh, i stop here uh, we'll discuss uh, the continuation of uh, uh, this particle in cubical box in the next lecture okay thank you